on his knees, and on his measurement have a little bit longer arm than Sanchez. Very good, very touches again. Still, he's changed now. He's on the ropes, and that's where he's going to take take a toll man. Oh, Gomez's legs really shook that time. Gomez's legs almost quivering. That's right. Right on the counter that time. Three good shots from the body by Sanchez. Three straight left hooks to the body by Sanchez. The pace that you folks are seeing right now, it's been like this from the opening bell. That's, That's why I tell the fans are getting their money for this one. Again, they're taking plenty of shots. No man is on the rope. He's cut on in the nose again. He's hurt. He's hurt. No man is hurt. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. Goes up to three. It's four. I don't know if Gomez can Gomez make it. Gomez won't get up. He's hurt. I don't think he can make it. He won't up make to it. Five. He's up. He can't see the rest of his time. That's it. That's it. That is he over. The fight. Referee Carlos Padilla stops the fight in the eighth round. A TKO win in the eighth round for Salvador Sanchez, who retains the WBC World Featherweight Championship. Can you tell us what the champion, Salvador Sanchez, well, had to say? The question that was in my mind was that, you know, so much had been said about Rafael Gomez's punching power. I asked him if he had felt at any time uh, that, that power. He said that he, he never was hurt, but every punch that he, that he landed, that, land, that Gomez landed, he felt it. It was tremendous punching. He said he could feel it, but uh, he just never caught him on the chin to hurt him, you know. I, also, I asked him if he, if he was surprised that he was able to hurt Gomez in the first round, he said that he was not surprised because he worked very hard. He worked on punchy power by banging the heavy bag, and he said that uh, when he landed, he noticed that Gomez was hurt. He went after him.